So how do you approach your circle of influences? Well, who is that? Your friends, your family? Well, the just- list that we created. Remember yes. we went to that, that list, the people that are around you and that mm -hmm. type of thing. So just want to remember and remind you guys, we do have scripting for you, so don't stress, but we wanna go over a few steps with you. So there's four steps to approach people. So what are they? Number one is compliment them. So it's if you're calling them or you're sending them a message, compliment them and just say, hey, I've just, I thought about you and I just really have appreci appreciated you always having my back, always supporting me, always being there for me. I just think that you have such a great mind and very entrepreneurial or very business minded and you just think so big and so I just want to let you know I admire this about you. The second step is to tell them that um, their support is important to you, that you appreciate them always supporting you and that not always that they may or may not uh, agree with you, but they've always supported you. The third step is to tell them about the business, but you need to quickly disqualify them. So when you are disqualifying them, it's like, um, hey, I wanna tell you about this awesome business that I have, but just, just wait, I'm not, I don't want you to join, I don't want to prospect you, I just am so excited about this, I know this is not for you. So you are just disqualifying them right off the bat, just so you can just have their guards let down. Yeah. And it just makes it just the tension just is not as high. Right. And then the fourth way is you ask them for their support. So ask them, just say, I am trying to get as many customers in the first 30 days. It would just mean the world to me if you would just support me this one time. Or like if Robbie opened a restaurant and he came to me, right. Like, and he asked me here, would you support me? Just come buy one thing from my restaurant or buy one meal. You're just asking them, come buy one product from me or support me for one month. And so you're asking them for your, for the support. And another way is like, Robbie, give us another example that you think would be helpful. So remember when, before I get into this whole kind of, we're going to role play for a second before we kind of get into this. Remember, uh, we just talked about the eight steps of the professional invitation. This is approach of how to approach your friends and family because sometimes that can be a little scary, a little intimidating to do. Okay, so my sister Brittany went through the four different ways that we're going to do it. So here's a way. So here's an example. Okay, so let's say Brittany is someone that's my family member. I'm going to go talk about this business. Hey, Brittany, I love you to death. I just joined this network marketing company that I, I am really interested in and I want to I want to succeed. But guess what? Don't worry. I'm not trying to sign you up here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just interested in just getting your advice and I just need some practice. I'm about, I'm about to learn how to tell my story here soon. I just want to practice with you and kind of ask, maybe just like role play with you just a little bit. Again, don't worry. I'm not trying to sign you up here. I just want you to kind of, I'm going to approach you and kind of practice some of these principles, some of these, these approaches with you and see what kind of questions you would have. And what does that do? Again, what, what did Brittany talk about? When I, when, I, when I automatically disqualify them, their guard is down and it doesn't matter. So really just don't try and sign them up. Don't be attached to signing them up. Just say, hey, you know what? I'm just practicing with you. I would appreciate some feedback. Right. And so that is a way that like, can I just practice? Can I get feedback? Can I, will you just help me role play? So when I'm actually doing this and then what it's doing is it's making them, their guard is down, but then by you disqualifying them, if somebody told you like, here, you, I'm not going to tell you about this or you're not going to be interested. What's that going to do to you? It's like, well, maybe I will be interested. Why don't you think I am? So yeah. this is why it's good to disqualify them. And it's a way for their guard to go down as well, for them to be able to actually have questions about it. And they're just like, hey, guess what? I want to practice with you because I want to succeed in this endeavor. And like Brittany, Brittany gave a great example. They're just like, hey, if I opened up, would you mind if just buying a couple pieces from me? Again, I just started this business. Just like if I started a restaurant, I would definitely invite my friends and family. I know you would as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, come in and buy a plate. Uh, some food from me, buy a couple pieces of jewelry, at least buy a couple from me, would you mind? And then after that, don't worry about it, you don't have to continue to buy from me. But just, would you mind just supporting me? I'm just starting this new business, and then after that, your, your obligation of me as a family and friend is over. Okay. Or you can even ask them too that it's like just will you just wear a piece of jewelry and just tell me how you feel in it yeah. just to give me a testimonial and so I think that's huge too yeah, so there's totally. tons of different ways to do it again remember we've got the scripting down below yeah. and so you can yeah utilize that and use that however you want to with each person so thank you so much and remember love your life, love your life.